Welcome friends to this particular channel which is dedicated for communication. Today we will be learning about how to speak fluently on a particular subject. At times you are given a topic in front of an audience or on telephonic conversation and you want to speak quite a lot on those topics. Sometimes it is found that you don't get the ideas to speak for a very long time. So what to do in those cases? Let's tackle that problem in this particular video. So here we will learn how to speak on one particular topic for a very long time so that you can get the ideas related to it. So you can see I have made few pointers and I will explain them one by one. So let's start this video. The name of the topic is fluency, how to speak on the topic for a very long time. So suppose you are given a topic which is called Diwali. Diwali is a very good festival which is celebrated all throughout India and abroad. If you are given a topic of Diwali, how would you speak for a very long time? The strategy for speaking on one particular topic for a very long time is divided into four different sections. The first section entails what? What exactly is Diwali? So you have to explain the concept of Diwali, how Diwali came into existence and what is the importance of it. Once you explain the whole story, it will take at least 10 to 15 sentences to describe about Diwali. So we can write what is Diwali and what is the importance of it. So once you explain that, you will have 10 to 15 sentences already on it. The second point is why. Why do we celebrate Diwali? This question also entails why should we celebrate Diwali? So what is the importance of celebrating Diwali for us? And why should we go on continue celebrating Diwali? Here you can stress on the various factors like it gives the joy and enjoyment for all the people celebrating Diwali. Also it gives the feeling of harmonious relationship and you can quote certain examples related to the topic. So this will give you an idea about why it has to be celebrated and your audience will also understand why you are speaking the topic so that they can relate to it. Let's go to the next point. When and where? When and where Diwali is celebrated by you? When is the question where you will stress when exactly it is celebrated, in which particular month or in which particular period of the year. So that will give you the knowledge of why and when it is celebrated. So this gives you an idea of when and where is the festival celebrated. So please make sure that you do some research work beforehand whenever you speak on a topic so that you can come to know about the various factors just like the one and where of the festival. Let's go to the last section to understand how we can give up more sentences so that we can speak freely on that particular topic. So the next one is how. How do we celebrate Diwali? So there can be many ways in which you celebrate Diwali or people celebrate Diwali. So you have to quote different ways of celebrating Diwali so that you can find at least 10 to 15 sentences on it. So you can count the number of sentences. So here we have how is Diwali celebrated. So if we count the number of sentences, 10 sentences for this one, this will be going on for 5 more, that accounts to 15, then we have 5 more sentences, 20, and then we have 10 more sentences. That makes 30 sentences on one particular topic that you can make. Of course, it needs a lot of practice. So once you speak daily on these particular topics, I'm sure you will be able to speak freely on many subjects. Hope this particular sheet has come into picture as a help for you guys. Practice thoroughly and stay tuned for more videos. I thank you for watching this particular video. Hope you have a very nice day and happy learning ahead. Thank you.